All right, I think that's enough waiting. Uh, I think the model's not working. Of course it isn't, hold on. There we go, now the model should work, fantastic. Ah, uh, great. <clears throat> All right, so, a couple of things. First off, hello. Nice to see you, happy to have you back. Uh, second off, we uh, got the extension working, so now if you want to give bits and have funny things happen in-game, you can. If you look to the left on the uh, screen, uh, the stream's like playing window, you can see that uh, on just below quests, on like the little tab there, there's random events now where you can set me on fire, uh, throw planks at me, um, Turn the music down, I'm hard to hear. Gotcha. We're turning the music down to 18%. Hopefully that'll be a sweet spot. You got it. Well, you're welcome, you're welcome. So, yeah, you can set me on fire, throw planks at me, make crabs spawn. I don't know how that works. And uh, you can make me crawl instead of walk for uh, two minutes. <laughs> uh, for now, there's no cooldown on these, because they cost money, so... Um, I would say use your money responsibly, is all I'm gonna say. And uh, leave it at that. Alright, so since uh, last stream, we've done some, we've done a few levels. We're on 22 total level now, which means we have uh, 11 chunks. Which is pretty cool. I haven't unlocked any yet. I've just been running around down here doing mostly mining and smithing and a little fishing and some combat. We also got like two prayer levels since last time. But yeah, we have um, a couple of chunks to unlock. So right now we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Unlocked. So that means we have three more chunks to unlock. Uh, and I think we all know which ones we're, we're first. We're going to have to unlock the Grand Exchange, obviously. We're going to need that for later. We're also going to unlock Varrock Castle, because we need that for um, Romeo and Juliet. And we're also going to, sadly... Unlock this uh, block over here, because we need to get a cadaver bush, and it's right on the edge, so I can't get it unless I uh, buy this one. But there we are, that's all of the... Um, that's all of our um, chunks unlocked now. We're still quite a ways away from being able to um, do... Uh, to use the Grand Exchange, but we can do uh, Romeo and Juliet now. We also have all the things we need to do the uh, Vampire Slayer. So we could also do that quest if we wanted to, but it's not uh, its not a requirement to get into the Grand Exchange, because we, after doing Romeo and Juliet, we will have, um, what's it called, 10 quest points. If I'm not mistaken, right now we have five. Yeah, we have five quest points right now. And I forgot my axe, hence why we're going back up to the bank. Can I get some money, please? You know what? Yes. Hold on. Yeah. You can have some money. Who's begging? This guy. There we go. Here you go, buddy. You can have some money. Here you go. I don't need this. Your account is currently restricted to trading. We will be left in seven hours. Try to gain five more quest points. <laughs> I can't give him money. Uh, I can't actually give you money. <laughs> that sucks. In spirit, though. In, in spirit. I would donate if I could. I would if I could. I'm sorry. Run away. Run away. Just just leave. Just leave. He won't see us. Just run. Can I? No. I'm trade restricted. I forgot. <laughs> I can't give people money. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Just run away.
Okay, so we're still still trade restricted for at least what was it? Eight more hours? Yeah, eight hours. So we need to get this to twenty. So it's probably not going to be today. We'll uh, be able to use the GE, but but one can hope. One can hope. For now, let's uh, take a look at our newly unlocked uh, chunks and five quest points. Yeah, but we're going to get the five quest points from doing Romeo and Juliet. Which we're gonna do now. It's still astonishing that this quest gives five quest points. It is the only thing it gives, more or less. It doesn't really have a quest reward, I think. Anyway, Romeo. The reward is hating Romeo. That's a good reward, though. Alright, let's start the quest. Get this quest helper out of here. We don't need that. This is what I saved up all my running energy for. It's just to run to Juliet's house. <laughs> Just to prove how little we care about him, we're gonna walk back to Romeo. To prove a point. He's not worth our time, he's not worth our run energy. Alright, so now we've got to go talk with the priest, but I'm just going to get the cadaver berry first, just so we get that out of the way. Just got to be careful when we get into the mage's ring here, don't want to get one-tapped by the wizards. Time to pick a cadaver berry from this cadaver bush. Oh, I can't pick it yet. God damn it. Uh, oh, wait, we can't go back up this way because that's in a chunk we haven't unlocked. So we can't go this way. So we need to run all the way back in from the other side. Which is great. I love that. It's really nice to get to see this part of uh, Varrock. You don't get to see that that often. This guy's just fighting wizards for uh, XP. God damn it. The level 20 wizard got me. Oh no. I lost one strength. That's bad. 
I'll never financially recover from this. <laughs> I wonder if we unlock anything else good with this uh, chunk, like the palace. And we do unlock yew trees, which is also a good money maker for free to play. We just need a lot more um, wood cutting. Anyway, Father Lawrence here. Congregation is uh, sleeping. Cadaver Barry. It's Jeremy Clarkson. Oh yeah, we can do... I, I caught a herring, so we can actually do our clue scroll step. While I was training fishing, I, I caught a herring. Ow. Okay, we gotta be a little careful when we run back this way, or we might get killed by wizards. Could just go the long way around. Alright, we grab this. Just go right back. Whoop, whoop. the screen a little bit. Oh, oh no. Run, run, run. No. I don't feel like the guards are helping very much. into the apothecary right here. There we go. It's the cadaver potion. Conveniently, I have it right here. Thank you. All right, easy peasy. It's gonna be so nice to have this quest complete, because then we, then all that's really holding us back, holding me back, is time. And I can always train some other skills while we wait for time to pass. Perhaps even train for some kind of money maker. That would probably be a smart idea. All right, let's go and give Julia her uh, potion. Make sure not to drink it.
There we go. And that's pretty much quest complete. Just have to watch the cutscene now. Oh, damn, she died. We just have to talk to Rome here to finish the quest. And I guess this time I will run. Just to get it over with. Gotta keep an eye out for random events too. It'll be really nice to have some to get some good rewards. Speaking of the devil, hey Flipper. I wanna play pinball. I love pinball. You know what they say, right? Speak of the devil. This is real gaming right here. All right, we got two diamonds. It's free K right there. That's just free money. There we go, five quest points. And and I was right, we, we literally don't get anything else from this. This is perfect. What a good quest. <laughs> anyway. That's ten quest points. So now the only thing keeping us out of the Grand Exchange is our playtime. Which is the easiest thing to do something about. That's just playing the game. For seven hours. That's doable, right? You can do that in a day. Easy. And then we can start money making. Just playing the game. Yeah, exactly. Just play the game. Hold on. I can't just put up stuff now. Okay. I guess I just can't trade normal. Yeah, I can't trade the restricted items, which is like logs or fish, like the usual. I can't trade runes on here either. Or eyes of newt or feathers. But we do just have access to the GE now. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Let's put up some uh, stuff that we don't need. Let's see, uh, note, let's try and sell the goblin mail and the, the bronze scimitars, because we don't need those. Sold. 
see if we can get rid of the goblin mails because we just i just want to clean out inventory so we have a good amount of starter cash to work with okay that'll probably take a while to sell um let's get rid of our wool don't need that and these bolts we don't need the ashes we definitely don't need. Just put the coins in. Oh, I sold the goblin mail. Awesome, that's 6k right there. Put this up. Put the ashes up. Easy PC. See, now, now we're making money. I don't think I can sell oak logs. I think that's the restricted item I can't sell. Yeah, your account's restricted. I can't. I can't sell oak logs specifically. Can I sell normal logs? I can. Okay, cool. Why can I sell a normal log? The normal logs sell for more than the oak logs. How? Why? Who chose this? All right. Well, let's go do our let's go do our clue, and then we can go back to money making in a bit. Oh, let's sell these. We don't need these. We also don't need twenty hammers, so let's just uh, take those real quick. Can you buy anything on the G? I think I can buy anything uh, that isn't on the restricted item list. So I can't buy. Oak, willow, and yew logs. I can't buy shrimp, raw or cooked. The same for anchovies and lobster. I can't get clay, or I can't sell clay, soft or normal. Basically, all of the mining stuff, like from copper to rune, I can't sell or buy. The same with cowhide and vials and jugs of water. Basically, I, all the really budded stuff, I can't get my hands on. I don't understand how hammers can sell so quick, but they're gone. See, this will take a little bit. But look, we already got like 26k. That's a pretty good start for our money. <clears throat> oh, we need our... Uh... We've got our clue scroll here. There. We have to get Charlie a raw herring. Thanks, Charlie. What's the next clue? Wait, I think we have this. West of the Champions Guild, right? That's like... No, we don't have it. No. <laughs> we can't do the clue, because it... <laughs> God dang it. All right, well... Maybe we'll unlock the Champions Guild. Maybe, because then we can mine silver down here. And clay, I guess. Which might be useful, I don't know. Oh, we can pet the dog. Pet the stray dog. Who's a good doggy? Okay, well, since we can go to the GE now, I think maybe, just maybe, it's time to try and make some money off some really stupid money-making ideas I have. So let's just take all our money, real quick. My emeralds are done selling. And let's try one of my, one of the first money making ideas I got. 
You see this clothing store right here? They sell some really cool stuff. And some of the stuff here is a lot more expensive on the GE than it is here. So... These are all two coins. But they sell for a lot more than two coins. So if we just buy these... These are five each, and they sell for 31 and 13, so that's not that good. The red cape sells for almost 100 and sells for two, so we're buying that. White apron, probably, yeah, 60, that's not that good. This one I know is like, almost no reason to buy this. The brown apron... See, the brown apron is the, is the breadwinner here. I did that when I was free to play. Yeah, it's a it's a good money maker. Just sell this stuff on the GE. It's, it's okay money. Now let's see if it's a... Uh, if it holds water, if we can actually sell stuff like this. Or if it actually will sell, that's the more important part. Okay, so we sold the emeralds. That's good money. Let's sell all of these. So they're actively traded for like one. So let's try and sell these at 150. just that easy now these only sell for 86 let's try and get them all for 85 just give them a minute I think we can safely pump down the sapphire a bit that's just three coins it'll be fine oh I did it wrong Let's try the red cape though. Let's just sell that for 90. See if it sells. It does. Nice. Brown Apron is definitely the, the, the winner here if we can sell this for 300, but I doubt we can. Let's try and set down the uh, the blue skirts a little bit by putting them at like 80. Alright, we sold one. Chef's hats are pretty good money. So are bronze warhammers. Actually, let's train uh, smithing for a bit. Alright, let's just try and sell this at like a lower price just to see if we can get, get it off our hands. Let's see, 250. for like 70 and the chef's hats we can do for 400 all right easy money okay so this is mostly what we're gonna try and do to get a, a big cash tag <clears throat> And we're done selling the blue skirts too. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see here.
Let's see, let's see if the chocolate bar method still holds up. If we can do chocolate bars. So right now a bar is actively traded for 61. Let's put one in, a few in at 65. Or 88, just to buy one because I forgot to play, press enter. Uh, but let's see how much does the dust sell for. Dust is like 102. How much did I pay for this? 64. Alright, so I did actually pay like pretty much what I wanted anyway. So let's actually set these at 65 and just buy as many as we can. Just 500. Wait, no, that's the wrong item. Thank god, that was good. Uh, chocolate bars. 65. And we even got money back. Nice. Alright. Time to grind. Uh, we do have a knife in here. Yep. Now this is RuneScape right here. I ate one. You know what? Everybody has to take a chunk of their profit sometimes. You just gotta eat. Let's see if we can sell this for an even hundred. And we can. Nice. Alright. Let's make sure we stop eating our profits. That would be nice. No more chocolate for me. It's unhealthy. Now we just gotta watch the, watch the money come floating in. That's pretty much all we gotta do. Oh, I mean, sure, we can do... Uh, Funny emotes. All right, we got one inventory left. Then we're done with our first batch of chocolates. The first big money. Wait, hold on. Let, let's see if we can get scammed. Real quick. can get scammed really quick. Is anybody gonna approach me? I guess the real scams were the scam was the friends we made along the way. Looks 
like if I could just get a bond today, the challenge is over, right? Th then I just win. Alright, that's all our chocolate. We only ate one of them. But we should have, like, a good chunk of money now. Just from uh, selling this. Let's try to sell it at 100. That'll make a nice 16k. And it did. How much did we buy that for? Uh, well, we, earn, we earned like 16.2 and we spent 12.0. So we earned like 4,000 right there. Which is pretty nice. But nobody's selling good chocolate at the moment, which is fine. We could sell some of our like unneeded items just to like earn some quick cash. Get these two out of here. We don't really need these anymore. destroy them because we can't drop them yep. and yeah all right sell some rat meat for 130 see if that goes anywhere the beer we'll just sell is fine the air talisman we can probably bump down to 65 and we'll probably sell it yeah to see if the staff will go for 80. Probably won't. <clears throat> Alright, we sold the beer. Let's see if we can at least sell these for uh, their face value. Does not seem like it. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for the GE to recharge, how about we train some stuff? I got an idea. Let's do some smithing. So you all had a good day? Done anything interesting? How's life? I hope it's good. Which is a bronze bar worth? 51, 150. The kite shields are worth 58. Yeah, there's just no way you can make profit with bronze stuff. Basically impossible.
Oh, I need to update the uh, levels real quick. Because right now we need 17, not 18. So let's just... Uh, Guards have any good drops? Ooh, they can drop. They can drop steel arrows, which is pretty good. Also, drop coins. But that's about it. That's about all the good drops they got. Splashing on a bird or rat, actually. Okay, let me think. What's a what's a stupid thing we can do for money? Oh, hold on, I have an idea. Speaking of, um. Let's just equip our best gear for now. Is the bronze full? It's not better than this. So we can just wear that. And then the iron chain, I think is our... No, we have a steel chain. And then these two. And our cape, of course. We gotta wear our cape. Green acorns. I don't know who that is. All right, let's see if we can beat a guard real quick. I don't think we can beat a guard. It's definitely not looking good. Sold our staff, nice. Uh oh. Yeah, I think we're just uh, not gonna fight guards. I don't think that's viable. <laughs> um, let's try something else, something a little less dumb. Um, we can try and see if we can. Do some hop and shopping for uh, some arrows. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, free coins. Oh, this I already had this despite 50. That's probably not... Let's just really quickly not have it do that. Must have been using iron arrows. Okay, so they're four coins each. But they sell for eight. Okay. 33. 28. Mithril. Mithril's only five on the GE, okay. The adamant are only... Some guy's buying out all the adamant. Somebody else here? Yeah, somebody else is here. He needed adamant arrows, apparently. Let's just reset these real quick. Oh, 
All right, so a quick, a quick esti- guesstimate would be that we can't earn money from uh, arrows. Not buying them and selling them under G anyway. That's definitely not going to be uh, profitable. Let's just uh, let's get back to GE and see what we uh, sold. Exchange home sweet home. Because <laughs> hmm. we actually we actually sold some rat meat. We sold two. But I do think the rat meat just kind of needs to go down in price. I don't think we're going to have any kind of profit with... Uh... I just don't think we'll be able to sell it. Yeah, 100. Yeah, I had a feeling it would go for that. All right. Let's see if we can sell all the arrows for like seven. No. Oh, we could. Nice. That's probably a profit. I think. Hmm. All right, I do have an idea. And it might be a little stupid, but hear me out. I do have an idea. And, and we're gonna gamble here with our money, but it'll be worth it. So long as I can buy these adamant arrows at like this price, then I think it's worth it. Ooh, we sold the ruby, nice. I mean, we're keeping the bronze arrows because we need that to um, to train ranged. We don't need the short bow though. We can just sell that. Okay, adamant arrows aren't buying at the price we want them. So let's just really quickly try again. Because it will still net us some profit if we buy it at this price, at 11. Let's see here. Alright, Gucci. Let's see. Uh, we just keep the coins. It's fine. Don't need to bank that. Oh, I sold my short bow. How nice. Let's go back to Lowy and see if we can uh, do some trading. So, like, he'll give a hundred coins for these, which is pretty good. Let's sell five. Okay, another five. Let's just sell ten. Fifty, even. Fifty-two. Number 50. Let's sell him one more. One more and one more. Because I think now this is his like stores. Nope, that he's still selling them at like crazy low high prices. You know what? I have another 50. 
We're just earning straight money off these. 80, now we're dipping. 42, yeah, now it's getting uh, a little smaller. And now I just don't think we get that much value out of selling them, so I guess we'll keep them for now. But yeah, we can sell them back for more than we uh, bought them for. Which is pretty cool when you find a thing that'll work like that. So let's do some quick hopping. Yep. And see if we can sell more in another place. Okay, so he starts at 600, and then he buys them for 44. Then after 5, he goes down to 40. And then after another 5, he goes down to 36. Alright. So, what we'll do is we'll switch this to cell 10, and we'll just world hop. And if we're lucky, we might find one where he's not, uh, where he's a little low on stock, so we'll be able to sell more. Quick, can I change it so it doesn't ask me every time we switch world? Switch... Well, switch confirmation. Get that out of here. We just do it. Although we did get pretty lucky with him... Uh, with somebody buying... Adam and Arrows from the store earlier. That was pretty lucky. That probably gave us a bunch of profit. So let's see, he's over here. Sell 10, then we hop. Well, let's see, we bought them for 11, so if we sell 20, how much is he willing to buy them for? 30. 40. Okay, so selling it for 50 is almost not worth it, because at that point he will only get one coin per arrow. So I think 40 is like the sweet spot we want to hit. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. Now this is RuneScape right here. This is this is what we came here for. It's to earn to see the cash stack go up.
this is how we'll make our millions, this right here. Probably not, but uh, it's a good start for money anyway. Oh, somebody here to buy or sell stuff. Oh, they're definitely selling stuff. Yeah, they're selling iron arrows, it seems. And bronze arrows. Good thing they haven't cornered the adamant arrow market. Or that would have been really bad for my, uh, for my profits. <laughs> We're gonna hit the 100k market on the second day, really. It seems like we're gonna hit 100k. I don't think this is like your GP per hour necessarily, but it's still fine money. I mean, if you focus up and you get lucky with uh, his placement, I think you can definitely earn a, a good couple thousand a month. Uh, an hour.
Hmm. I think we might have looped around by now. I think we kind of ran out of worlds to sell to. Nah, we're good. It's all good. Ooh, he's low in this one. Nice. That means more money. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. Just got 100k. Awesome. Thank you whoever bought, bought arrows here <laughs> in World 308. Real chat. One, two, three, four. We're almost done with the arrow stack. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is basically the same as High Elk King, kind of. Because he buys it at the same price, uh, and uh, this way I don't have to level magic that much. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Now this is RuneScape. <sighs> World hopping and shopping. 
We should probably check out uh, 301 or 302 when we're done here. Oh, when we're done with this. Because there might be some funny stuff in uh, the general store we might be able to buy for a good price. And that would be funny. One, two, three, four. At least the shop restocks itself quickly enough so that I can like hop through and actually do this without uh, repeat, repeat selling, so I don't sell as much. Thank you for donating 10 bits. Did you donate bits? Ah, oh, you set me on fire! No! Oh no! Run! Ah! Uh. Why would you do this? We're trying to make money! Stop! Ah! Uh. I have to run away! Oh god, somebody... No! I got set on fire again! Why I mean, that's, that's on me for putting these in the thing. Thank you for donating, my man. Jeez, okay. Ah, oh, that was scary. Don't do that again. <laughs> Did you seriously just buy bits just to see what happens if you do that? Well, I'm happy we're getting some use out of the uh, random events. I thought you would take damage. No, <laughs> I, 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 it can't. Um, it can't give me damage. Sadly, I'm sorry. I took mental damage, if that's, um... Yeah. I don't think there's random events you can turn on for the plug-in that does damage. I'm not sure. That, that would be really hard to, like, code and stuff. Probably wouldn't work, but but thank you for the bits, nonetheless. That was very nice of you. You are now my uh, top cheerer. Congratulations. I swear, everybody and my everybody on my Steam friend list is just playing Fallout these days, and I'm all for it. It's a great game. But that that TV show really did make that game popular. I just bought 300 bits because I thought you would take damage. <laughs> really. Buddy, come on. I don't even remember what the other things are. I mean, you could try throwing planks at me if you want. You know what, I'll even wait out here. I'm plank. <laughs> <laughs> it also makes me say it. Damn. In public. <laughs> okay, can I move if you plank me? I'm just curious. Or am I like stuck in the animation? Oh, I can't move. Great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it's It freezes me. <laughs> well, that's nice. One, two, three, four.
Well, a little later, we could probably look over all of the things the plugin can do. Because I do think there's like some of them. I'm not sure I can take damage, but I know there's one that like can freeze my character. So I can move for like a couple seconds. And I got a feeling that would be kind of annoying. Four. There we go. We need the freeze. All right. You know what? Just because you're so nice about it or whatever, I'm going to see if I can turn it on. I just need to go to my dashboard real quick and then extensions. And then we can look at the options for it. Let's have a look here. Random events. Edit mode. Distractions, barrage and freeze. Uh, I can be surprised barrage and disable walk for a set duration. Okay, so you can just, yeah, you can just freeze me basically. Uh, let's say you can freeze me for half a minute for 50 bits. That seems fair. I'm going to regret not putting a cooldown on it, but here we go. Um... And then there's stuff that like makes me unable to eat or unable to use prayers or unable to attack. Um, there's also stuff that makes me look weird. Hmm. All right. Let's just add the freezing one. And hopefully when you reload, that should be there. Five, ten minutes. I can't set it that high. It can only go to... Um, it can only go to a minute. it with uh, the no food no prayer ah okay I can I can put those on too hold on uh, edit mode I can only add five more okay cool that's fine uh, player animation tick duration impairments uh, impairments no attacking for 50 bits and then you get what, five minutes of no attacking? Or one minute with the no food and no prayer for five bits. I can't make it five. The lowest it can go is ten. So on a diet for ten for what, like a minute? Sure. And then the atheism one for a minute too. We can do that. That's fine. All right, those should be in the plugin now, if you reload. One, two, three, four. Can I see him yet? No, I have reloaded. That's probably why. Let's wait for it to pop up. Oh yeah, they're all there. Cool, cool, cool. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
All right, we already were up to 150k. That's pretty good. Now, if we're lucky, we're gonna get another store where somebody bought all the adamant arrows. That'll be really cool. Oh, I just broke my neck. All right, and this will be the last store. The last trade, because we can't, we don't have any more after this. All right, cool. Let's go see our stuff on the GE real quick. That was a, that earned us a pretty penny right there. 165. That's pretty good. Let's uh, check how much we spent on that. Just so we get a a good estimate. Okay. So we spent Basically 48k. And we got 165k. Which means we earned 117k, basically. That's... That's pretty good. That's pretty good money. At least now we have some starter cash. I do want to test something really quick, and I think I can. I just want to see how quick this sells. Because then we could possibly buy daggers from the sword shop and then sell it.
I don't think they're gonna sell. If I had to wager, I don't think they will. is gonna work. I'll be frank. 17k and 117k and how much time? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I can't remember. I think we were like maybe one hour in on the stream, so that's like what? Uh, 40 some minutes, probably. So it's a little under an hour. I'd say if we round it up, and if you don't get as lucky as we did with some of these shops, I'd say you could probably make around 120k an hour selling Adam and Arrows to the shop. That sounds about right. Now, it's not necessarily a good money maker, but it does make money. Oh, we sold our dagger. Wonderful. Hey, Seth, I need some staffs, my guy. Give me... Give me all of those. Let's see, what's the... What's another good staff he sells? that we could potentially earn money on. Probably the air staff. I think we can get money on all of these except for the earth one. So how about we try this? And then we just try and sell this stuff. Just to get an idea of how good money this is. So the staff is clearly not worth it. Staff of air, though. This is just a question of uh, it taking a while before they sell. Okay. Fire staff? Yeah, we could go down to 1780 for that. If we remember to hit enter, that'll probably help a lot. for that how about we hmm, I guess we could go fight go to train some combat get some more levels so we could do that beginner clue
or just get more levels in general. Yeah, I don't think this is working uh, like I wanted to. <laughs> so let's just kill this goblin. Please drop a goblin mail. Hell yeah, that's money right there. Cash in the bank. Alright, the staff of fire sold. That was quick. And that's the staff of air. Okay, so maybe buying staffs isn't that bad. It's just a little slow. Chaos Ruins, that's a good, uh, that's a pretty good uh, drop, that's a uh, pretty good money. Oh, I'm out of prayer points, dang it. What's up? Um, whoops, that's the wrong button. Reply. Let's be nice. Tell him we're streaming and ask him what's up. That's a nice thing with him to do. All right, fire rooms. Stronghold of security. I guess we could do the stronghold real quick just to get some money. That's not a bad idea, thank you. Now the question is if I remember which way is the right way to go. Answer these security questions.
Now we can also get some cool boots. Flappy mode, let's go. Yeah, I know it's dangerous. Alright, this one I kinda remember, because I've done this one a lot. Because this place down here is also a really good place to train for uh, free-to-play. Uh... On these little flesh crawler bugs. Run here. Good. Didn't even get hit. Report them, you know, if they're trying to scam you, just report them. Me. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get the grain of plenty. I got the slap head emote. And my staff of water sold. How wonderful. This is the real spooky one, because uh, getting killed down here is pretty easy. So let's try not to die down here. a big hit. It's a little scary. Just gotta get past the cat cat opal pawns and then we'll uh, we'll be there pretty much got free. I think we could probably survive a hit so let's just run for it. remember if the box of health actually heals you I don't think it does yeah no but that's that's 10k right there 
Easy money. Let's go get the funny boots, though. Might as well. We're already here. Why not go get the funny boots? I think some of the ghosts in here could probably attack me, so we should be careful around this. Just so we don't die. Would be a real shame to die after we got all the way down here. Ow. Easy. Alright. Let's get the let's get the fanciest boots. Fifty bits. What did you what did you use fifty bits on? I don't have run energy left. What did you what did you do? Which one of them did you use? Too late. What were you gonna do? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. You were gonna freeze me! Dang. You know what? How long is the freeze? The freeze is... Um, 13 seconds. You know what? Start a timer. I I'll, I'll be nice to you. Hold on. Let's just turn off auto-retaliate. There. I'll, I'll just keep a timer on. Oh wait, he's not supposed to attack back. Stop that. Alright, reset the timer, come on. There we go. Compensation. Lorraine is never going to kill you. I would have freezed you on the fourth layer of the stronghold. Ah, fair enough. You know what? If you really want it that bad, I'll go down there. But I am curious if it actually freezes me or if it's just... Because I didn't see it properly because of the, like, pop-up, I think. I guess we have to go all the way back down. Yeah, we do. Great. Damn, these people just down here training Slayer.
Let's at least bury the bones. Let me just check the settings for the thing real quick. Switch loadout status. We'll go down there and we'll re real. There's apparently a rerun thing, so let's uh, see if it can actually work this time. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna try and test it real quick just to see what the animation for it looks like Hold still Okay, can I actually move? No, I can't. Okay, cool. So that's how it works. It, it forces me to be unable to move. I guess it just didn't run because I was like in a menu or something, which makes sense. Okay, cool. We can do that down there. Don't tell you I'm not merciful or whatever. I am not generous, man. Scam. What the fuck you mean scam? I'm rerunning it. Shut the fuck up. So you scare me first. Do you have brain damage, buddy? You okay? I would just wanted to check it to see how it worked. So now when I rerun it again, for free by the way. You just have to open the menu. Look, I don't know how the darn thing works. I turned it on today. If it doesn't work when I'm in the menu, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I am redoing it to, to calm down. Like, you don't have to call the IRS or whatever. You could probably file scams in your tax returns. Probably. I mean, I'd give it a try. Anything to not pay taxes, am I right? It's just a little tax evasion. Ah, don't. She's not feeling herself today. You shouldn't call her. She, she's still traumatized from her assault. God damn it, that hit hard. Ow. Alright, I'm guessing you want to freeze me in the big room with all the monsters in it. 
Am I correct in that assumption? That's where you would have wanted it to pop off? Yeah, okay, good. I, I just wanted to make sure, you know. Here we go. I'll just run in here and rerun the thing. There we go. Now I can't move. Can't move for at least 30 seconds. And I died. What a shock. Congratulations, good job. You did it. <sighs> still can't wear goblin mail. And I still can't move. Now I can move. Okay, thank God. <laughs> did you just play it again? Or did it just thank you again for donating the bits? Okay, it just thanked you again. Good. Alright, there we go. Cool. Thanks for the thanks. You're welcome. Self thanks, as we say. Anyway, how much to get that stuff back from death? Fine. I'll go get him myself. Jeez. It's all your fault, man. Time to die. <sighs> I can't believe you'd freeze me like that. All <laughs> I'm glad you got your money's worth. All right, let's go collect our money and then uh, bank that. Still need an axe, otherwise we're not getting back to Varrock. Let's just take uh, the bronze axe. Now, see, if you were smart, you'd do that again, just so I die down there a second time. Because I am probably going to go back just to grab my stuff.
Right, let's just go put this in the bank so we don't lose it. Like it or not, the barbarian village music slaps. Oh, before we go down, we should probably get some free food. Courtesy of the people who fish. Thank you, fishermen, for your service. Just gonna grab all these salmons. There's also just free money on the floor here. Nice. Ah, oh, these two are still down here. Good for them. Good for them. Thumbs up emoji. Hello, hey Kiwi, what's up? You having a good day?
Kind of funny if I didn't make it down to my tomb in time, in time to get, get all my stuff. Your grave in stronghold security expires in five minutes. Yes, thank you, game. Thank you, I know. I'm aware. Game really wants me to be aware of my uh, grave. Ow. Almost there now. We got this. Just a couple more doors. That's all our stuff. And the money. Alright, that's good. Now we just gotta get out of here without dying. Phew! Ow. I was 99% sure you were gonna try and freeze me again. But thank you for not freezing me. But I was so sure you were going to do it again. <sighs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. For real, thank you. Ah, oh, God.
I think it's just time to uh, turn in our profits for the day and uh, keep it low. I did stream for like eight hours yesterday, so I think cutting it down to just two today is, is fine. I just wanted to actually show the progress of the unlocking all the chunks. Of which we're not even that close to unlocking a new one. So I don't think we actually gained any levels, really. Yeah, no, still 17 levels. But now that we have the GE, we don't really need that much more, I think. Maybe. To get more money, we might need to grind some more levels, but I think this is like the main grind over for now. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for thanks for watching and uh, been being here. It's nice uh, chatting with some of you and uh, playing games and uh, getting frozen was also a little funny. Uh, so yeah, hope you have a great day and uh, I'll uh, see you some other time. All right, bye.